Hello, hello, it's Julie Davison from juliedavison.com. Welcome to Thursday Night Stamp Therapy. I just had a little panic and I hope I'm in the right place <laughs> here on Facebook. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it's Thursday already again. I feel like it always goes so fast. Well, I'm really excited, you guys, because as you probably know, I got my new catalog pre-order. I'm so excited about all the new stuff from the catalog. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, I'll include the link in the video description when we're all done. Tonight, I'm going to use some of my new stuff because I know you just can't wait to see it. <laughs> I want to use some new stuff, but I'm also going to use some old stuff. So of course, with the new catalog coming out, the old catalog is ending. And so there's a bunch of stuff that is retiring, meaning it's being discontinued. Now I had shared this list before, all the yellow stuff is the sale things. There's a lot. And so today I took the time to make up a flyer with pictures. And so I'll have the link to this in the video description when we're all done so you can check it out. So this picture flyer shows everything that's on sale. There's over 130 30 items that are on sale up to, up to 50% off. And I'm a visual person. I think we as crafters, we're all visual people, right? So um, if, you've been, if you've been looking for something that's a little uh, easier to, you know, just glance at, then this is it. Now this sale goes on until May 2nd while supplies last. And as you can see from this other list, a lot of things have already sold out. Most of it is stamp sets, which is a little bit different than the norm. Um, so a lot of stamp sets have sold out, but there's still a whole bunch of stuff that is available, especially the tools, the dies, the embossing folders, the punch, the ribbons, like so many good things. So I'm going to use a couple things off this list and I really encourage you to take a look at the list and pick out the things that you like because the deals are pretty amazing while you're waiting for the annual catalog. Now, most of the things I'm gonna show you today are available starting May 3rd when this catalog launches. If you're a demonstrator, you can pre-order right now. <laughs> Leave a comment and let me know if you've already placed your demonstrator pre-order. What are you excited about? Oh no, I'm just seeing uh, some comments from Susan who says the audio is cutting in and out. If that's a problem for anybody else, please let me know so that um, we can, I don't know, I'll try to fix it. Um, so give me, a, give me a thumbs up or a heart if everything looks good to you. Um, that way I'll know that, uh, that we're that we're good here on Facebook. I'm seeing a few comments come in. Okay, very good. Lots of hearts and lots of thumbs up. So let's just jump in and get started. Now, one of the things I shared in the, um, the pre-order video is the in colors. And I'm really excited because after I did that video, um, my friend Margo Richardson, one of my team members, she came by with a bunch of old in colors. And so I just wanted to kind of go over those colors again. I have a few additional colors to add to the mix. So if you missed it before, you're going to get it again. We'll do it real quick. So um, here are the in colors. We've got Tahitian Tide. And most of these are the same that I shared before. Really close to Tempting Turquoise. A little bit brighter and lighter. I like the brighter version here with Tahitian Tide. The current colors that we have in the catalog are Coastal Cabana, Bermuda Bay, and Pacific Point. So Tahitian Tide really fits in well with those other blues. The other one that I brought in from um, Margo is Cool Caribbean. Very light, um, very, very light compared to Tahitian Tide, almost like pool party. Um, now let's bring in Parakeet Party. So Parakeet Party, um, I got a bigger piece of Lemon Lime Twist from Margo. And you can see Lemon Lime Twist looks very yellow compared to Parakeet Party. Again, I really like the newer Parakeet Party. Um, Granny Apple, and then Margo also had some Lucky Limeade. Do you guys remember that one? Oh, and then I, had, I got the Pineapple Punch. So these two, all three of these are older colors that aren't current. Um, the Granny Apple Green, actually that pairs really well, doesn't it? Oh, Marco had some certainly celery. Let's, let's bring that in. She had all kinds of old, look at all these old colors I got from Marco. Certainly celery, look at that. So almost looks like gray next to Parakeet Party. Um, older colors here, Wild Wasabi, um, Cucumber Crush, like totally different. Gumball Green, those are, those are way different greens there. Um, 
The one that we didn't find yet was the Kiwi Kiss. Uh, but you can see, like, it's very unique, I think, to the colors. Similar to um, Lemon Lime Twist. But, again, I really like the Parakeet Party. Lemon Lime Twist has a little more yellow in it. And Parakeet Party is a little more of a bright green. Um, okay, next up is Sweet Sorbet. Um, I shared this one before, and Poppy Parade, Real Red are the current colors, and then I've got some Watermelon Wonder um, and Strawberry Slush, and so um, I know some of you are asking about how it compared to those colors, so um, these are the current reds, and so Sweet Sorbet is kind of a nice, brighter color there. Watermelon Wonder is more orangey, and Strawberry Slush is more pink, so it's sort of... I don't know. I don't know that I would say they're in between watermelon. I, it's just a, a more red version of these colors. Now, there's some other colors I still don't have. Um, I don't have terracotta tile. I don't have... Um, oh, there was another color I was going to try to get. And I don't know why I didn't bring this out earlier, but I just wanted to bring in Calypso Coral for you. So this one's Calypso Coral. I'm sorry I don't have a marker to market but um calypso coral is definitely lighter and more orange than the sweet sorbet so that's calypso coral i really need to label that one okay next up i'm excited to have a few more colors to compare to orchid oasis so orchid oasis really really pretty um i showed you gorgeous grape and rich razzleberry and next to those it looks very blue but then next to the blues like um, Night of Navy, <laughs> it looks more um, purpley. So I wanted to bring in some old colors. Ballet Blue, do you guys remember that one? Uh, much bluer, but, um, but kind of similar there. And then do you remember these? Lavender Lace and Lovely Lilac. So uh, they're a, it's a little more closer in purple to these two than it was to Gorgeous Grape and Rich Razzleberry. Um, really kind of a, a, a light violet i can't even bring that one in there <laughs> um so like all of those sort of mixed together i really love this shade and very different from the purples that we have right now okay last one is starry sky and this is one where i got some some colors somebody was asking about brilliant blue that's an older bold bright color and so starry sky is definitely more of a violet compared to brilliant blue um, this is current pacific point current night of navy um, retiring misty moonlight here are some more older colors midnight muse whoa <laughs> definitely more violet than midnight muse dapper denim totally totally different do you guys remember this one concord crush so concord crush might be the closest that we have but still very different starry sky is lighter than concord crush elegant eggplant um so if there's colors that you are are thinking of retired that you want me to try to get a hold of let me know i'll see what i can do but hopefully this gives you an idea these colors are very different from other colors um, that we have had in the past. Let me bring all the in colors back in to show you. Starry Sky, Orchid Oasis, Tahitian Tide, Sweet Sorbet, and Parakeet Party with Calypso Coral trying to sneak in. Did you know Calypso Coral used to be an in color? <laughs> a long time ago it did um okay so these are the new in colors we're gonna make some projects with these new in colors um one of the new suites in the new annual catalog is called cup of tea i'm gonna get rid of this paper now oh i just made a mess okay so cup of tea and um in the cup of tea we have some cards and envelopes that are featuring the new in colors and so i wanted to use these cards to make a card tonight we're actually going to make well mostly it's already done i have five cards one one for each because i couldn't pick i couldn't pick a, a favorite um this also has some designer paper oh my gosh what is this called <laughs> um Tea Boutique. That's kind of a fun name to say. So the Tea Boutique designer paper is six by six. So you're going to get four each of 12 different designs. Really colorful using all the in colors here with some additional yellows and um, light purples here. That's like fresh freesia in there. Look at that yellow. Mm, so beautiful. 
This one is my favorite. I love the letters with the flowers. On the back side, we've got some monochromatic cards, some of which look very much like the card fronts um, in our cards and envelopes series. So T Boutique designer paper coordinates well with the T Boutique. Uh, these are, so I have to tell you, these are just cards and envelopes. They're not memories and more cards and envelopes, which means that these are um, regular card size, okay? So sometimes our cards and envelopes, um, and I actually have one over here. Uh, this is the hand penned cards and envelopes. It's on the last chance sale list. This is made for the memories and more cards. So this is a four and a quarter by six and a quarter card. Uh, but these cards are regular four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so they're going to be shorter, more regular card size. So I just wanted to point that out that they are regular cards and not memories and more quote unquote cards. Okay, so today's cards, I am mixing up the designer paper with those card bases. I'm trying not to make a mess and stay organized here. <laughs> um, so I, I have... I have some some pre-done, um, but I wanted to show you how I cut this. So I took a piece of the um, coordinating cardstock. This is Sweet Sorbet, and I cut it down to three and a quarter by four and a half. And for the designer paper, I cut at three inches. So if you wanna do this with your paper, you'll be able to get two cards from each piece of designer paper. So the designer paper is three inches by four and a quarter. You could do three by four, but since it's a six by six piece of paper, it doesn't really matter if you add that extra um, quarter inch. And that way we have an even um, half inch border all the way around the card. So the designer paper is three inches by four and a quarter. The card stock is three and a quarter by four and a half. We're going to add, oh, sorry. <laughs> We're going to add the designer paper to the cardstock and add that to the card using some stamp and dimensionals. These are going to be kind of clean and simple envelopes. I saw your comment, Heather, about wishing the envelopes did not have flowers. I, I do agree with you because I feel like these um, cards are so um, versatile. Um, that you could use it with so many different things. In fact, I was thinking, oh, it'd be nice to make a card with like the bird, but um, you could still have the flowers with the birds as well. Let me bring those envelopes back in. So each of the envelopes does have a little flowers at the top and the bottom, and then the pattern to coordinate with um, the card base. So it works lovely if you're, especially if you're using the designer paper to coordinate. So um, we've got our card base here. And then for the words, I want to use one of my favorite punches. I told you all I'm going to be showing you some new stuff, but also bringing in some stuff that's retiring. And so the everyday label punch is one of the punches that are retiring. And I'm really sad because it's one of my favorite. It's kind of a go-to shape. I can't remember if this one's on sale, so let's check our, our flyer really quick. Um, it is. Okay, so the Everyday Label Punch is normally $18. It's on sale for $14.40. So if you're placing an order, I would definitely put that on there. <laughs> there are some new punches. Uh, there's a new, at least one new label punch, another like decorative circle kind of punch. Um, but I just really love the size of this one and the shape of it. So um, I, I don't know. I, I would say get it <laughs> if you don't have it already. So I, I pre-stamped Take Care of Yourself. Um, and on all the other cards, I did use that sentiment. But for this one, I thought it might be fun to bring in a little teacup, which I have pre-stamped as well. And so I feel like the take care of yourself maybe is a little bit too big. So I wanted to show you a little trick. And you can do this with any punch. In fact, I thought of it with the project that I shared yesterday during the project playback video. I did this trick with the Label Me Fancy Punch. And so you can do the same trick really with any punch. So for this one, we're going to stamp... Um, we're going to stamp thank you, which is another stamp from the Cup of Tea um, stamp set. And we're going to stamp in the Sweet Sorbet ink. And then we're going to punch with that Everyday Label Punch. Oh, it's very tight still. There we go. 
So we're going to punch out um, tall or vertical like this, leaving a straight edge at the bottom. And then I'm using a piece of uh, skinny post-it note, but you could also use like another scrap piece of cardstock because this is just going to help me um, to position the punch. So you're gonna put it back in and Oh, it's falling off the post-it. Okay, we're gonna put it back in the punch and line it up to punch. <laughs> there we go. I just need to, okay. <laughs> it's so hard sometimes on camera. All right, so I'm sliding it over and I, I really could use a bigger piece of post-it there, but I'm sliding it over so that I can get the bottom of it punched. So what I'm doing is I'm creating a smaller image with the same punch. So your bigger punches, okay, let's, <laughs> let's extend our handle. Um, there we go. <laughs> um, your, your bigger punches can punch smaller labels by sticking it back in and punching again. Okay, so here is the regular version of it, and here is the smaller version of it. So it's, it's this way instead, but it works both ways. So a very versatile punch, the everyday label punch, and then you can have a smaller size if you need to. So again, here is the one I did yesterday. Let me show you. So here's the original Label Me Fancy. So I just did the same thing to make it a little bit smaller. And then this one I just layered on a circle. And this little uh, punch is the um, symmetry, let's see, sym symmetrical stems border punch. That one's also on sale and retiring. And then the, um, the sweet symmetry designer paper, which is the paper I used on this project is retiring as well. So add both of those to your list. <laughs> okay. So, um, so we have a little, we have a little choice now to decide if we want to put the teacup on here. Do we like the smaller? Thank you. Or do we want to add, see, I just feel like that looks too big, don't you think? Leave a comment and let me know. I'm leaning towards the thank you just because it doesn't seem so big and, um, and bulky and cover up um, some of the designs. So I'm going to start putting some Stampin' Dimensionals on there. If you think I should use the other one, though, let me know. Although I am going to show you what it looks like on the other colors. Um, so you'll, you'll be able to see that. Yeah, <laughs> Bonnie says the thank you. I, I agree. Um, now one of the in color products, there's a whole bunch of in color products. We've got cardstock, we've got designer paper, Stampin' Blends. Of course we have, um, there are some twine, which I thought wasn't available and so I didn't order, but I think it might be, so I might have to place another order. Um, all kinds of things. There's also some um, embellishments that are coming that aren't available quite yet. Um, lots of different in color products and one of them is in color ribbon and we have this like uh, metallic sort of mesh so these are all the in colors uh, but I just showed you the in colors and so um, you can see they look I, I think a little bit different than the in colors um, some of them are closer than others but like this for example is sweet sorbet and um, that doesn't match at all <laughs> Is it just me? Uh, the sweet sorbet. I don't know. I guess maybe depending on what you put it against. Um, it looks very pink to me, like flirty flamingo. And so um, I was going to add this ribbon to the card, but I just felt like it clashed with the pink in there. So I added a twine bow instead. Um, but I do have, let's, let's take a look at these other cards because I am going to add these ribbons to those other cards. Um... I, I'm looking over your um, your comments, and I think you all agree the smaller thank you is the way to go. On all the other cards, though, I did use the take care of yourself. So I think with the teacups in the background, I think it is such a perfect sentiment. And you're right, it will be perfect for sending get well cards, thinking of you cards, you know, just... Um, 
just checking in kind of cards. So here are the other in colors with those um, T Boutique designer paper patterns and um, cards. <laughs> I don't know why I couldn't think of that word. And so the final touch on these cards is going to be those bows, which I pre-tied. And I made them kind of bigger because I was going to put them behind the label, but I, I didn't like that. So I'm going to add it just kind of in the corner and um, maybe make them a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do a little trim on those so the tail isn't quite so long. So these other colors, I think, match up well enough. They, it is like a different kind of color because it's metallic, but um, it's it's really pretty ribbon. I love that. So um, leave a comment and let me know which of these is your favorite. Um, and is it based on the designer paper or is it based on the color? Um, I know sometimes you guys are like, I can't pick a favorite, and I totally understand that. <laughs> the good news is, is that if you get the tea boutique cards and envelopes, you'll have all of the colors, and so you could make all of these cards, and you don't have to pick a favorite. Um, so I'm just trimming the tails up a little bit to finish up these cards. This one is just kind of way too big. Let's ring that in a little bit. <laughs> oh, the glue dot is like, I don't want to, I don't want to change. That's not as easy to rip off as cardstock. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to have to start over on that one. Okay, adding a glue dot. All right, oh, <laughs> I made a mess. Okay, so sweet sorbet with our thank you. We did a little uh, little punch trick. The parakeet party, Tahitian tide, orchid oasis, and starry sky. And of course, they all have envelopes to match. So these cards are all ready to send out. I love how quick and easy. So one little package of the cards and envelopes includes. 20 cards and 20 envelopes so that means you're going to get um four each of the five different colors oh see those flowers on the envelopes are so nice when you use that tea boutique paper it just coordinates so beautifully Okay, so there's our set of cards. Look at that. <laughs> we just made five cards. <laughs> okay, some of it was pre-done. Um, so that was the Tea Boutique and the Cup of Tea. I hope that you enjoyed those cards. We're going to switch it up next and do something with the new Masculine Suite. Oh my gosh, I am really excited about this paper. Let me see what it's called again. It's called He's the Man. And this is a 12 by 12 paper that has five different double-sided patterns and then two sheets of die cuts. This is really unique and different and Stampin' Up! hasn't done anything like this before where there's die cuts as part of the designer paper. Now this paper is 12 by 12. I just cut it down so it'd be easier to show you. Um, I'm loving the colors here. Mint Macaron, Early Espresso, Basic Black, Sahara Sand, Cajun Craze. And the thing that I love about this paper and the, um, the whole suite is that it really just has all kinds of different things camping and grilling and dressing up and classic cars there's some tools in here so I really feel like it covers all the bases when it comes to making masculine cards let me show you I'm getting all messed up here <laughs> here's the stamp set called he's all that and it has coordinating label dies that are really fantastic and are versatile to go with so many different stamp sets so they'll cut out the um the shapes that are the stamps, but then also I really feel like you can use these over and over again with different sets as well. 
Oh no, I just saw Marsha's comment about freezing. So hopefully that's not a problem for everybody. Um, give me a thumbs up or heart if you can see me okay. Hopefully we're not having any connection issues. Um, looking back, I'm seeing Melissa's comment. Is Fresh Freesia the light purple with the Orchid Oasis? And so let me just go back to those cards while I'm making sure that we're good. Um, so yes, this light purple is Fresh Freesia. That's going to be a really gorgeous combination, I think. Okay, I'm seeing lots of thumbs up, so I think I think we're good. And um, hopefully anyone who's having some problems, just try to maybe go out of Facebook and come back on. Sometimes, um, sometimes that does the trick. Okay, so he's all that. We've got the awesome stamp set and bundle, the amazing designer paper. The last thing in this suite are some rustic metallic adhesive backed dots. I really love this sort of brushed uh, metallic to go with everything. So I wanted to make a card and um, I'm using some designer paper. I've pre-cut some pieces and I'm going to go with Sahara sand for the background. And my husband loves to grill and has a new smoker. So he's really an avid, <laughs> an avid, uh, what do you call a smoker? I don't know. Is there another name for it? Barbecueist. <laughs> um, and so I picked out a die cut that says, um, you're flipping awesome because, well, he is flipping awesome. Now, one of the things that is really cool about this paper is that it has sort of this texture in the background. And you know what that texture reminded me of? It reminded me of one of my favorite embossing folders. It's called Tasteful Textile. And look how well it goes. Look at that background. Like, it looks like it was made for that, doesn't it? I'm really sad because Tasteful Textile is retiring. I just saw your comments. Pit master. Yes. Grill master. That's the word I'm looking for. Although barbecuist, I like to. <laughs> okay. So tasteful textile embossing folder is retiring and it's on sale. So if you don't have this one yet and you're thinking about, um, you know, this suite, I really think that it's a good one to go um, with this suite. Honestly, this embossing folder goes so well with so many different things. Um, and so I highly recommend getting it. It's really great for masculine cards, especially. So for this card, I have embossed with the tasteful textile, um, a piece to go on the front of the card. So this just is a nice way to add texture to a card. Now, whenever I'm doing, um, texture on the front of the card and I want it to be on the whole thing, I do um, a four by five and a quarter piece to layer onto the card front. And I get a little border all the way around. You can go all the way if, if you want, but I kind of like the border. I think it looks a little bit finished, but I prefer to do this to layer another piece on rather than just embossing the, the card front. First of all, it's easier to just emboss a flat piece than the whole card front. But then also on the inside, you have a clean edge instead of having the embossed surface. So I like to do that. I add another piece. So that's four and a quarter by five, no, four inches by five and a quarter. And then my designer paper strips are um, one and a half by, um, well, one and a half by six. And then I'm going to cut them off the card and we're going to layer this like this, but I want to add a little more, um, a little more dimension to the card. So I'm going to use another retiring favorite, the tailored tag punch. This one is so perfect for masculine cards. It's just such a great shape. It's not like curly and round. It's just kind of a nice angled, label and that I honestly use for so many different things. And if you've been watching my videos, you know exactly what I'm going to do because this is one of the major ways that I use the tailored tag punch is I put the edge of the cardstock in and I create a banner or fishtail end. And so this has been a really easy way to just center that and to cut that end nice and even. So I use it for the tag, but I also use it for cutting those banner tips 
ones and you better believe this one's gonna stay on my shelf <laughs> i usually get rid of things when they retire but my tailored tag punch is not going anywhere this one is retiring and it is on sale so as you're making up your order you definitely want to put the tailored tag punch on there too so tailored tag punch tasteful textile both of those are must-haves in my book. Let's do some layering here. Um, we're gonna use our regular adhesive to layer the, um, oh, I gotta get a new adhesive. To layer these onto the cardstock, and then we'll cut the cardstock before we layer it onto the card front. There we go. So about a, about a quarter inch from the side there. Um, yeah, I'm looking, I'm seeing your comment, Carol. She says that she finds that embossing the card front kind of weakens the, um, the card base because it does. Like it, um, you're sort of manipulating the cardstock and the fibers of the cardstock. So I do think that it, it keeps it nice and um, nice and straight to have, you know, the, the strong, the card base is strong when you add the embossed layer to the front. I'm just gonna trim these off and then add this to the front. I know that seems silly, but <laughs> sometimes when you, I always pre-score my cardstock too. And so sometimes when you do that, you end up with like a little lip. And I like that, the, when it's longer, I like that to be the front of the card. So I just turned it over to make it the front. All right, our little die cut piece. Now this is, I know you're gonna ask, it's like, it's very much paper, um, not a cardstock quality. So it is, it is kind of flimsy. I think it's going to be okay to put on our card. So I'm not going to layer it, although you could choose to layer the die cut embellishments. I'm going to add that over here. And I want to add some of the rustic metallic this has a long name, Brustic Metallic Adhesive Back Dots. <laughs> I want to add um, a couple of them. I'm just trying to decide where. Hmm. Oh. <laughs> it's stuck to my fingernail. I don't know what do you think do you like them on the paper do you like them down here i think they look random down there i did think about adding the grill let's get that out and see what we think so there are two sheets of those die cuts which is really awesome so I know, I'm sure all you paper hoarders are going to be like, but I can't use it because I might need it for something else. Um, but you get two of each, so you can use at least one of each, right? <laughs> um, I thought about adding the grill down here, but I think it takes away from, I think it takes away from that. So um, I, I saw someone say down, but three. Carla, what do you think about that? Does that look better? Um, Melissa says three in a vertical line on Cajun Crease. Um, yeah, I think the grill is too much. Maybe we could put it on the inside. Um, I also want to do a little die cut greeting on the inside. Um, so let's do that really quick. I see a few more of you are commenting on the dots. Um, we're gonna use this sentiment which says, holy smokes, you're amazing. How perfect is that? We're gonna use some black ink on Cajun Craze cardstock. I just love the way that looks. And we're going to use the coordinating die to die cut it. Oh, I can tell I'm gonna use this over and over again. I love this new set. Let's get a little Lucy for this little job. Oh, 
Lucy is my mini stamping cut and emboss machine. And where is my platform? Okay. We're going to just line that up. And if your plates are getting warped, then um, you definitely should be flipping them over, using both sides, changing the top and the bottom so that you get even wear. And that will help to keep your, um, to keep your plates um, that will help to keep them from warping. Okay, we're gonna need, I need a little post-it to stick this down. I need to angle my There we go. I find when I have trouble and it doesn't want to go through, I just try to start with one corner and then it works itself out. Ooh, I love it has like a little almost embossed edge. And I think that, um, oh yeah, you can see it on the die. I think that all the dies kind of have that little embossed edge. Oh my gosh, I want to do them all now. <laughs> I might just do that really quick. Let me just die cut. Um, I'm, I'm going to use my big one and I'll just die cut all of these so you can see um, what they look like. I just got to move some things out of the way. Let me grab a scrap. paying attention and my uh my oh, my top layer really got crunched in my big machine whoops okay let's take a look at these really quick this one was getting cut off because the paper was too small but you can see it has sort of an embossed edge around the border and I love that so it's a little harder to see on this one with the color, but um, all of the dies, all the labeled, well, not the arrow, but the other ones look like they all have that kind of fun um, detail to it. So that is awesome. <laughs> Get over there. Okay, yes, I think these are definitely going to be a favorite. So if you don't want to get the masculine stamp set, you can get the dies separately. They're called All That Dies, and these will be available starting May 3rd. You can get them right now if you're a demonstrator. 159078. I know, the detail really is so awesome on this. Okay, so we have, holy smokes, let's bring our card back in here. And I'm going to put that right there. And I love that, um, I think this is light enough to color on, but I love just that detail and being in a different color. And then there, there was the, I think I've lost it in the shuffle. There was a grill. Um, I got all kinds of <laughs> on the floor, but I don't see my grill. Oh, there it is. Okay. What do you think of that on the inside? I think that looks nice. Oh, no, Eva. I'm so sorry that you're having a bad day. I hope a little stamp therapy will cheer you up tonight. You're flipping awesome. Oh. <laughs> Our dot was trying to migrate. 
Oh, I didn't see all your comments. Let me go look really quick. Um, do, 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 do. Three at the bottom. No, girl. Okay, I think you guys like the three at the bottom where they are. So I'm going to leave them right there. Push down real good. Okay, you're flipping awesome. Holy smokes, you're amazing. Oh, now I got my Father's Day card for Jim ready to go. <laughs> okay, this was card or project number two using the He's All That bundle and the amazing um, designer paper. I just love that with the die cuts too. That's going to be so much fun. It's so easy to make cards. Okay, the last project, I've made such a mess. The last project we're going to case the front of the catalog. <laughs> Unfortunately, I cannot show you the inside of this catalog. I can't open it up on camera. I can't send you the link until the catalog launches on May 3rd, but I don't have to show you the inside to show you this amazing project. Um, so we're going to copy this. I actually did this the other day. And so... Here we go. Um, we're going to use the Happiness Abounds bundle and the Hues of Happiness designer paper. So that is the suite. That is our cover girl. I always say that cover girl. Um, it's a 12 by 12 paper and um, it is so colorful. Like it has so many colors in it um, with these beautiful florals. And the, so a 12 by 12 paper, I've just cut it down to kind of show you a little bit easier all the different patterns. And then, of course, the B-side. So we have this sort of um, rainbow brush stroke. Oops, that was the back side. More of the brush strokes in different colors and the patterns. I'm really loving the navy. I cannot wait to use these patterns. Well, um, on the front of the cover, I, um, I used, I think they used like this one, but cut it differently. But I, I cut some different pieces. So I have two pieces. I need you guys to vote and tell me what you think. We have one that's more pink and yellow, and we have one that's more purple and blue. So tell me which of these two sheets you think I should use. Um, I'm gonna say one or two, or you could just say pink or blue or pink or purple. Um, so leave a comment, let me know um, which of these you prefer. Um, in the meantime, I die cut some of the flowers ahead of time, and I didn't realize this when I did my unboxing video, but the dies in the Happiness Abounds bundle all of the outlines die cut the flowers and the leaves and some of these designer papers. So the paper that has the flowers that are more spaced out um, like this, all of these are die cut with dies. So I actually sat and did a whole bunch of them ahead of time. Um, I just was using the dies and sending it through. So you can have, um, you can have your different flowers. Maybe we might need, just need to make both. <laughs> I know what you guys are going to say. Make two cards. <laughs> um, do we have enough leaves die cut for two cards? Maybe. Um, well, maybe we will make two cards tonight. This one looks like it was the edge of the paper though. So I'm going to need to do a little bit of a little bit of rounding out there. Okay, well, another component of this card, besides the die cuts and besides the backgrounds, is the little detail. Let me bring that catalog back over here. Um, because I have had people asking me as well, what is this? This little, like, note note paper. That is actually a die. And there are two dies. There are two border dies. So one of them is that note paper one and one of them is like another kind of spiral bound. So in addition to the outline dies, there's also this detailed die that is really beautiful as well. And so we're going to die cut a piece. I cut these down to two and three quarter inches by um, four and a quarter. So it's one eighth of a, of a, um, 
one eighth of a piece of cardstock. Now I will note that there is a cutting line. And so if you cut the, the first time I did it, I accidentally lined it up like this. So the cutting line, it just cut the spiral right off the paper. So you want to make sure that that cutting line is on the edge of the cardstock um, and not the other way around. So I'm going to send this through the die cutting machine, which is off camera. So let me do that really quick. I should have done that ahead of time, I guess. Shaky, shaky, shaky. Oh, so fun. I'm going to just do a little, <laughs> all the little dots coming out. And then since we're making two cards, I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Make sure that I got that lined up right. And I think I need a post it to hold it in place. Oh my goodness, <laughs> the whole table shaking. Shake, shake, shake. Okay, there's that one. That was just such a fun little detail, isn't it? Okay, card is coming together beautifully. The other card on the sample had a stamped leaf as well. So we're going to add some stamped leaves to our card. Um, I always feel like maybe the, I like that better. Okay. Um, so stamped leaves and the green in here, it kind of looks like old olive, but it's actually granny apple green. So I'm using these two stamps here to, um, to stamp the leaves. And um, I'm going to do I'm just kind of guessing here. <laughs> I think that looks okay though. I see your comment, Susan, about needing more flowers. Um, if I'm being true to the catalog sample, they just used two big ones, but I certainly could add, I have some die cut smaller flowers in there. Um, oh, I should have used the other border one. I can die cut one with the other border. Oh, I just twisted my knee funny. Let me just cut a really quick piece with the other border die so you can see what it looks like. I should have, I should have thought to do the, the other sample that way. Well, <laughs> you could tell I was doing it quick. So one of them is the tight spiral bound and the other is sort of more of like a I don't know what you would call that. It's not spiral bound, but just uh, a different kind of like, what are those plastic bindings? Um, you know, I'm talking about like the, oh, it's not spiral, but the, the comb, the comb. Yeah. Um, oh, good. Okay. Susan says she thinks it's enough, but I mean, there are some smaller flowers in here, so we certainly could. There's actually more different colors. Like there's some blues, um, and some other ones. I just kind of cut the purple and the pink and the yellow ones, but we'll stick with just the two. When you're making your cards at home, you can always add and embellish and do your own thing. <laughs> and I know that you will. Um, all right. So this designer paper, since it was 12 by 12, I cut my, um, I cut my paper to four inches by five and a quarter, but I want it to fill the whole card stock. So I actually trimmed my card base down just a little bit. So instead of being four and a quarter, I cut it to four inches because I wanted to maximize my card 
or my paper, and I could get from one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, I could get, let's see, six card fronts if I cut it to four inches. But if I cut it to four and a quarter, I'd only be able to get four. So that's why I cut it down a little bit. So it is just a, a little bit skinnier than, um, than a standard card. And I'm gonna glue this onto thick, um, thick white cardstock. So uh, the basic white. Um, and that way I don't have to add a white layer on the inside. It's nice and sturdy, a little bit heavier. Paula, I hear, I see your question about the blue, and I believe that this is pool party. So gorgeous grape, fresh freesia, pool party, granny apple green. Over here, we've got some daffodil delight. Um, gosh, this bumblebee is now retired. I'm not really sure what this darker yellow is. A little blushing bride, a little like flirty flamingo, uh, melon mambo. There. So this this paper is not necessarily the in colors. I think some of the patterns do have some um, starry sky like here, but um, that is pool party, coastal cabana, Bermuda Bay. Really gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Okay. Um, the last thing on our card, or almost the last thing, is the words. Um, and so. Um, we want to use a sentiment on here. I really love the fonts in this stamp set, which I have placed somewhere on my desk. <laughs> Happiness abounds. I love the um, the style of the sentiments, the script. Happy birthday, best wishes, um, congratulations, sending many thanks for all you do. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stamp this one. It says, wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. I can imagine a lot of happiness, so that's a lot. <laughs> I'm going to stamp with Melon Mambo and um, Gorgeous Grape for our cards. So I'm going to I have to stamp one and then I'll clean it and stamp the other. And unfortunately, you know that colors like Melon Mambo do tend to stain um, a little bit. So that's no problem. It'll still stamp the same way. To minimize staining, you can ink with Versamark or a light color such as um, petal pink um, in order to sort of like condition the stamp a little bit. You're still going to probably end up with some staining, but it might just help to minimize that that staining so that your, um, your stamps aren't like glowing. <laughs> okay, next up is the gorgeous grape for the purple card. Both of those colors, Melon Mambo and Gorgeous Grape, are in the Brights color collection. Beautiful. All right, we're ready to do some layering. We'll start with the purple card. And I'm gonna use a bunch of Stampin' Dimensionals. Just looking at, um, <laughs> just looking at your comments a little bit. Janet says, staining means they're well loved. That's right. <laughs> These stamps are definitely well loved or will be. I'm just getting started. <laughs> now in the sample, they've got it over here, but I think I actually like it there, which opens this up to more of the space and kind of makes it, I think, a little bit more visible. So I'm going to add that there. And then I'm going to add some dimensionals onto the back of the flowers. I'm doing threes here. You'll have to let me know if you change your mind about the color once you see the finished card. Um, I like the lighter color on top and the darker on the bottom, so I'm going to position them that way. And then we have our little die cuts, and this one seemed like it was a little bit off. So I'm just going to trim that a wee bit. And yeah, I think I'm going to put it right there. All right, 
Move this. <laughs> you knew it had to happen. I'm going to move that down a little bit. <laughs> And we're going to we're going to add some embellishments on this too, but that's that's it for now. Let's do this one next. I love my stamp and dimensionals. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ramona. I can't take credit for this one exactly because I, I am casing this from the catalog cover. I'll show you the catalog cover and both the cards. And you can see there's a, there's a few differences in the, like the, the paper that I used. And that does change the look of it a little bit. Oh my goodness. What a busy evening. We have made... We started with five cards. Um, ba -da -ba -da. Yep, I'm going to do it that way. We started with five cards with the Tea Boutique. And then we... Then we did our masculine card. And now we're doing two. So that's eight cards total tonight. Woo! That is busy, busy, busy. Okay. What is the most number of cards that you've ever made, like in one stamping session? I know we we did some stamp alongs where um we made like what ten cards, twelve cards, fourteen cards. That's a lot for one session. Although if you've ever been to like a stamping retreat or something like that, I'm sure that you've made more than that. Maybe you've made 20 cards in a day, 30 cards. <laughs> Christina says, five with you the other night. Did you guys see my Rainbow of Happiness card class? We made five cards using the Rainbow of Happiness bundle and the Sunshine Designer Paper. That is so much fun. When you're making such different cards, they can take a while. So it took us um, an hour and 45 minutes to do the class. Catherine says two dozen cards. Like That's a lot. If you're doing simple cards or maybe some that are um, all the same, then it goes faster, of course. Uh, but when you're making cards that are all different, it's definitely going to take... Definitely going to take some time. Now that, what, oh, golly. The thing I want to put on here are my elegant gems. Oh, but I, I don't know where I put them. Well, here's my sample card that I already made. And I used the elegant faceted gems. But I'm not sure where my package went. It's probably buried somewhere here on the desk. So... How about these? I just pulled these out. These are actually retiring. They're 2021 to 2023 in color gems. And um, they're really beautiful. Uh, I actually will be sending these out to everyone who ordered from me in March. If you ordered $40 or more and you're qualified for the make and take kit, then you're also going to get a package of these in color gems. And... I think they're so beautiful. So this is supposed to be pale papaya, but it looks very yellow. So we're gonna add some to that one. And then, oh yes, these purple ones are beautiful. Get on there. So if you don't have the in color gems, and if you're not getting the package from me, You'll definitely want to add these to your next order. <laughs> the In Color 2021 Jewels are on sale for $5.60. Today we combined all kinds of things from the new catalog and the Last Chance product sale um, to show you how well everything works together. Okay, now that we got them done, tell me what you think. This or that, pink or purple. I do like the faceted gems because they're a little bit bigger. Um, and this suite does have some gems. I think.
think that they're a little bright. I don't know. I felt like they were a little bright for this card, but they're really beautiful and I think they're gonna be gorgeous. These are called Glossy Dot Assortments. Let's bring the catalog back in so you can have a look at the original sample. I copied right off of the catalog cover. So they used a little different designer paper in the background and they did the full four and a quarter. Mine's just a little bit shorter and a little bit different arrangement with the sentiment on the other side but you can clearly see where I got my inspiration. <laughs> oh yes, both are gorgeous. I know, it's hard to pick and you don't have to, you can make them both when you are casing these projects at home as well. You guys seem very, <laughs> very torn. Oh, I love the idea of the brass butterflies. Those are in the mini catalog and I always forget about those, but they are really just like the perfect embellishment. Lisa, I might have to get those out. These are already down, so I think I'm going to leave them for now. Well, let's review what we made. It's been a busy night. If you joined late, you might have missed out. We ended with these two projects. In the middle, we made a masculine card with the new He's All That bundle and the die cuts from the paper. And we started off making five cards. <laughs> See, it's been busy. Using the Tea Boutique designer paper and cards and envelope. And they featured the new in colors. So if you are just tuning in, you'll have to watch uh, from the beginning so you can see a little in color comparison and a little more about these cards. Using the everyday label punch, the tasteful textile embossing folder, the tailored tag punch, the in color gems, there's still so many amazing deals. So if you'd like to get some of these um, specials, make sure that you shop in my online store before May 2nd. Everything's while well supplies last, so don't wait. I'll include the link to this flyer with the photos in the video description as soon as I'm done. So you can check that out and um, it's just a lot easier to see um, what's on sale and shop from that list. So check that out in the video description. You can order my online store at juliedavison.com slash shop. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope that I have gotten you excited about some of the new catalog stuff. I'll be sharing more in the coming weeks and this catalog will launch on May 3rd, 2022. So in just a little bit less than a month. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I will see you very soon with another card making video. Until then, have a good night.